Right, so this might be possibly the right route to get up there. The watchtower is up in those trees somewhere. I can't see it from here. And this looks like a very narrow, windy path. Hopefully the APC is not going to be too wide to get up here. Because uh, it's already a wide vehicle. When you slap these tyres on, it makes it even more wide. Um, but, yeah, we'll see how we go. This thing is a beast. Hopefully we shouldn't have any issues. Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975, and today we are continuing exploring the Northern Aegeus installation in SnowRunner Phase 4. Now, in the previous episode, we went and explored a little bit of the region. We didn't get very far. Um, I actually didn't manage to uncloak any of the watchtowers, and at the end of the episode, I got the truck stuck in the ice so i'll leave a link to a playlist down below if you want to go and check out that episode for yourself but today we're here i've brought the actian over to the northern aegeus installation i went and explored uh the amandra map in this truck so it is very capable it's very good in the snow and we're going to hopefully get all three watchtowers in this second episode so you can see what we explored in the last episode right here the first watchtower is right here the can sentinel is sort of abandoned here where it fell through the ice so today we're hopefully going to um yeah go and get the other watchtowers so to get the first watchtower we're going to take this little road off round here again because as we found out in part one the bridge down there is out so we have to take this little road round behind the trees to get to it um, but this is also going to lead us down onto the ice where we finished part one the end of part one uh, we ended up on the frozen lake bed and this is going to take us right down to where the sentinel is um, abandoned basically and then we're going to go up the little road we found at the end of the part one and hopefully get the watchtower that is the plan but whether it's going to work i don't know i'm probably going to shoot myself if it doesn't right we have made it to the sentinel that we uh, abandoned in the ice in the last episode you can see that's where we finished off i was attempting to cross this bit of ice here and get to that road over there which is hopefully going to lead us up to the watchtower and as you can see the can went through the ice there and uh, was a bit of a shambles now before we just go ahead and abandon the sentinel i am gonna pull it out because just in case we do go through the ice with the acting i could use the sentinel to help us get it back out again so I'm not just going to leave it there. Whilst we're here, I've got the winch. Um, we're going to pull the can out. Just as a recovery vehicle, as a precaution. Because I know what will happen. I'll go through the ice and I'll have nothing to pull me out again. So we are going to pull the can out. I'm hopefully not going to go through the ice in the Actian. Um, but just in case we do, we could use the can. As you can see, I have fallen through the ice here now. I'm going to go for low range, flick the diff locks on. That's going to lock the axles, so we could possibly get a bit of drive. And then, if we can just get one wheel on here. I don't want to fall over either. I'm hoping that it's going to be just some harder ice in a moment once we get past this rock a little bit here. If I can just get to the left a little bit. And there we go. We have made it across the river to this little dirt path. 
which I hope to God is going to lead us to the watchtower. It does appear to head in the sort of general direction. We may need to do a little bit of cross country. But I'm going to get to the top of this hill, see if we can find the watchtower, and then we're going to go and get the other two as well. Well, that truly is a sight for sore eyes. We've made more progress in 20 minutes in this video than we did in four hours in the last video. But there we go. We've discovered the first watchtower on this region. Thank God. Let's go ahead and launch the observation. We can have a little look around the area. It seems that we've driven that whole area in the last episode. But there we go. We've got the first one. Let's go ahead and open the map. We can't really see much, to be honest. Well, we can't really see much more than we saw in the previous episode. But there we go. We've got the first watchtower. I'm not really sure which one we want to go for next. I'm thinking possibly this one. Um, if we could get maybe... Hmm. There is an eroded bridge here. So we can't get across there. Um, now we did in the previous episode go down onto this lake and up here. Okay, so uh, we got the first watchtower. I've made it back down the hill. We're going across the river again here. And the next watchtower is somewhere over in that direction. Uh, that's the one we're going to go for next, if I can get back across this river okay. Um, and then the last one is sort of over in that direction somewhere. That's a little bit further away. So I thought since we're n sort of close to this one, we're very near to it, I thought we might as well go and get that one next. And then um, we'll go and get the one furthest away last. Okay, so this looks like it is a road off the lake. I'm just towing the can with us just in case we get stuck. I'm going to uh, ditch it on the road like we did before. I haven't had to use it yet, but um, it's just a little precaution just in case we do need it or, you know, there's no winch points, then we can just winch that. And, um, it's just a little bit easier. And uh, if we need to go and scout ahead, I guess we could use the can. Although the acting is a much better truck. If it does get stuck, then we are going to have to rely on the can. So, there we go. We've pulled it back to the main road. I'm going to just ditch it right there. And immediately I've rolled... <laughs> The Actian. I'm very, very glad that we brought the Sentinel because now we're going to have to use the Sentinel to uh, roll over the Actian. Okay. Okay, so I've uh, got past this roadblock up here. I've tried to get onto this little road just here. Um, I thought I'd be able to break through that fence and you can't break through that fence. It is basically indestructible. So, uh, we're going to have to go the long way around. We're going to have to go down the banking and find the road just down there. So, I'm back and honestly, I couldn't roll the acting over. I was fed up of arsing about this map is really just starting to piss me off. So, I've decided to bring out the big guns. This is the modded APC tank and this thing has a lot, a lot of torque, a lot of horsepower. It has these really wide mud tyres on it that just don't stop for anything. And it has raised flexible suspension on it. So basically it's the APC which is already a very good vehicle on steroids. So hopefully we're going to be able to get the last watchtowers with this thing. If we can't get them with this thing I don't think I'm going to bother getting them. So... We found this little path up here just a minute ago. I'm gonna drive up here and we're gonna get the last two watchtowers. Right, so this might be possibly the right route to get up there. The watchtower is up in those trees somewhere. I can't see it from here. And this looks like a very narrow, windy path. Hopefully the APC is not gonna be too wide to get up here. Because uh, it's already a wide vehicle when you slap these tyres on it makes it even more wide. 
Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. This thing is a beast. Hopefully we shouldn't have any issues. And here we go, the second watchtower on this map. We have finally reached it. There also seems to be some sand here of some kind for some reason. Very strange. I don't know if they're hinting get sand in the next snow runner game, but there we go. Um, I actually forgot to uh, launch the observation. It is actually quite a beautiful view off the top of here. It's right on the very top of the map. And uh, if we open up the map now, you can see this whole area. We've got one watchtower left to go and get. It's right near sort of where you come into the map. So I'm going to go and drive over here. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And then we're going to get out this map because I have had enough of it. And here we go, the final watchtower in Northern Aegeus installation. Let's go ahead and launch the observation. There we go, there's a massive ball and what appears to be a penis. <laughs> there's a penis rock and a ball in the background, but there we go. We finally explored this whole map. Now, I want to give my thoughts on this map. If you're a new beginner um, to SnowRunner, stay away from this map. Even for me, I've been playing this game since the start. I'm a pretty good driver. It was a ball ache to do. Um, you know, I had the use of the Tarin JBE, as you can see there. The modded one, which is a pretty overpowered vehicle and even that struggled I rolled it over a few times um, I damaged it quite a lot now it did make it here but I don't know how you would do it in some of the vanilla trucks so bear that in mind if you're going exploring this map maybe you want to take a modded truck um, as far as the Khan Sentinel is concerned stay away from that vehicle as well it is shockingly bad it's probably the worst scout vehicle I've driven in this game and that is saying something so yeah I don't know who decided to come up with the Northern Aegeus installation map at the SnowRunner devs but whoever you are one day I'm going to find you and make you drive the Sentinel around this map because that was hell it's taken two episodes to explore this map, but we've done it finally. And I never really want to visit this map again. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Rant over. Apologies that it did actually take two videos and we achieved nothing in the first half. But we've now gone and got all of the watchtowers. I'm sure you'll see the new modded um, APC back at some point. It's an awesome, awesome vehicle and no doubt one of the other maps um, I'll be using it again so um, it isn't the last of the APC I imagine but there we go hopefully the other maps aren't going to be as challenging we've got two more to explore in this Amir region we're going to be continuing them in the next episode so hopefully you can stick with us for that and I will see you all in the next video